Okay, so let's start without wasting any time. Today we're going to fix our Arch Plus High Plan setup. You might think like, yeah, you've already installed such a beautiful and amazing setup with Arch Plus High Plan. What would be the problems? Well, let me just tell you. A really bad NVIDIA GPU driver support, very corrupted High Plan files which are not properly designed for my laptops, and worst of all, I cannot properly install my favorite and the most important application, DaVinci Resolve Studio, on which I create videos. So, if any of this sounds related to you, if you have any problem with NVIDIA GPU driver support, or just normal Intel or normal integrated GPU driver support, or performance issues, or some applications which require a little performance do not work properly, or anything related to configurations, or maybe something like that which rings a bell in your mind watch this video till the end and let's begin so this is my desktop this is the lock screen and just take a look at how beautiful this lock screen is let me just enter my password okay take a look at these password icons or something like it's just awesome and this is so beautiful like take a look at this so let's enter and this is my current desktop now to make it my own i've already placed or Set the default wallpaper to this. You can find this in the link in the description. Don't worry about it. And now let me just show you once, just once, how beautiful this is. This is my desktop. Really beautiful, right? And then we have our to-dos, timers, everything here. While the other stuff, I have AI, right, built into the desktop. Like, and this is the overview. We have Google Lens. We have Google's recognized music. And this is Arch Linux. Can you believe it? This is Arch plus Hyperland setup with n4 dot files and take a look at this beautiful clock isn't it just awesome and it's interactive as you can see like this and today we're going to make this desktop or make this setup my own now the first step is done i've set the wallpaper we have a lot of other wallpapers as well as you can see all of them are in the link of description you can easily find them and just check them out these are just awesome aren't they for example check this one out isn't it just beautiful or check this one out yep is it just awesome? Yep, it is awesome. <laughs> or maybe this one. This is nice. And you can easily go to, you know, light mode from here. And now, like, for people who like light mode, it's good. But I don't. Now, let me just go back to that amazing wallpaper. There we go. Nice. And yeah, first I have to install the NVIDIA drivers as well. And it will help you to set up your own desktop or operating system after installing Arch Linux. So keep watching till the end to see how things are done. First, let's go to the browser. There we go. And now the best way you can do things without getting errors or... Well, let me just first fix the theme and other stuff, okay? Appearance. I would like to use light mode. There we go. And yeah, till now it was in night light mode, like night mode. Now this is the real color, the real temperature, okay? So, I'm gonna go to chat GPT. We're going to use AI. And yeah, not Gemini or other APIs right now from here. I'm going to use a proper dedicated AI, you know, so that we can do things properly. So, step one, installing NVIDIA DKMS driver. It's a proprietary driver. The best way to check if you have that or not is to type NVIDIA SMI. It will only work if you have the proprietary driver, which currently I don't. And that is why it's going to give me an error that it was not able to communicate my, with my NVIDIA driver. So, there we go. I have a VivoBook with Ryzen 7 5800HS with RTX 3050. And I want to install NVIDIA DKMS driver. So, first, we're, gonna, we're going to clean the pre-installed NVIDIA drivers. So, let's go here. There we go. These are the drivers. I'm going to copy this. Paste it here. Alright then. So, I just need to add these things to, you know my hyperland config file but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna do something even better i'm gonna give this my hyperland config and if there's something wrong it will fix that you see you have to use ai the right way to improve your efficiency so that we can get done as fast as possible so this is it maybe the source files of other files in hyperland and custom folders you can add your stuff in the custom one okay there you go this is the environment file this is env config. There we go. Okay then, so I'm gonna have to just copy these to in the environment like this. Okay, so this is the full environment config it has given me. So I'm gonna just close it and paste the new one properly. And now save this. And now reload the config from here. There we go. 
quick shell load it and let me just close the night light all right then well i've not restarted or you know properly restart the system but maybe it should work let's see no nah, it's still not working well what would what i'd like to do is just a complete reinstall so let's do this there we go delete all the nvidia stuff error targeting not found these things okay okay whenever you face an issue like this or you're not able to properly see what the hell's going on just do this okay let's see if the kernel module exists or not nope it doesn't so let's first see if dkms is working yep it has installed so i'm gonna just do this Control c there we go enter so the kernel modules are not loaded properly you must have this in grub menu so i'm gonna have to run this why so i'm supposed to share the output there we go well today i'm just fixing my high plan setup okay so my drum was missing the main thing right looks like we're gonna have to edit this there we go change this line to this well all i have to do is just this so i'm gonna have to find this cmd line linux default to this one cmd line linux there we go this one just take a look how can you not love this cursor you know like this terminal is just so damn beautiful isn't it how can you not like this now this what the hell i'm true control that's now let me paste that this one copy this much paste control x control y enter there we go done if you're using hybrid graphics add this too we have to add this so the final one should look like this right okay then let's do that again just copy this much there we go control x control y enter now we have to rebuild the grub let's do it enter done now let's try it again if it is not this nvidia mod set or something which it is not we're gonna have to you know edit this shit as well let me just share the output enter really man we had so many bad things we had so many errors and i don't know what not this operating system was not properly installed that is why i've been getting gpu issues so let's fix them properly eh? yep now i'm gonna have to just paste this there there we go now we have to rebuild intra i don't know what what that was properly again fail to read this why is that supposed to be why was it able to okay so it's a syntax error open this file then dash c scroll to line 82 should see or something now control c now line 82 there we go half written strings broken commands the correct version is this okay check for any accidental quotes let's see nope they are not they are not any of them hey can i copy all that yep i can i'm just gonna paste all of this really all right then so we're done and now all we need to do is just reboot and see if it works or not hopefully please just work will you so yep let's do this okay then here we are and now it's time to see if it worked or not nvidia smi enter there we go that's what we're talking about and it has already gone through all the modes like it's already using the nvidia gpu for kitty obs for the whole desktop and everything this is what i'm talking about and now it is time to install the wings resolve studio so let's just go to the browser chrome there we go chrome and now let's search for the Vinci resource studios well i'm just gonna go and download it from support center there we go there we go this one download download and the download is starting there we go now i'm just gonna wait for it to get downloaded there we go almost downloaded and now let's install it let's go to the downloads extract the zip file open it up now we're gonna need a little help from chat gbt here we're gonna need a few proper codecs and drivers which will connect us through nvidia dkms driver and the wings resolve studio so that we not have to face a lot of issues as other people do online so let's go let's just explain it i'm installing davinci resolve studio an arch plus pipeline setup with nvidia 
DKMS driver pre-installed. This should give it the context of what we're actually doing here. And now let's see. So these are the things we're going to need. Let me just open terminal. There we go. Password and installation started. Retrieving the packages. I don't know why, but my internet is like a little glitchy today, isn't it? Let me just change my internet or restart it. There you go. Let's do it again. Enter. Mm, leave that. I'm just going to connect the Wi-Fi to my mobile instead. There we go. Connection completed. Let's start again. No, please don't tell me it's not working as well. There we go. Installation done. Let's see what else do we have to do. Yes, I am on a 64-bit system. Enter. Well, let me just use yay. Enter. Enter. No AUR packages found. Weird. Like really weird. Now we can fix the dependencies with this. Let's see. Yep. And now let's start the, you know, setup. Just run it from here. It's going to take some time to launch. It's an 8GB setup file. It will take a huge amount of time to load it into the RAM. Or if you don't have that much RAM, then just don't worry. It will just automatically load it up itself. To be honest, like, yeah, this is the best setup I have had ever in my entire life. The most functional one, to be honest. And that's why I'm going all in. I'm installing the Winchers All Studio, uh, you know. Yeah, while that is installing, let's just go and install Steam. Well, I'm gonna open another tab for ChatGPT. I want to install Steam on my Arch plus my plan setup. No, I can directly install Steam with one command, but I just want to make sure I have everything. This is what I'm talking about. Well, I can just directly check it up here. If it works or not. Maybe. Nah. I'm gonna have to enable multi-lib. There we go. Now, uncomment multi-lib from the config file. Where would it be? There we go. Control X, Control Y, Enter. And now let's update our package manager. No, oh, sorry. Whoa, it is not loading is it so i'm gonna do is just open a terminal here well how can i yeah let's just open the terminal cd downloads slash the install studio there we go ls dot slash there we go so this is the problem we don't have the qd platform to launch the application you see these are things which makes ins installing the winch Resolve studio really really difficult oh shit i should not have done that now let's get back here. Let me just paste this. Enter. So this explains. It does not support VLAN natively. It uses Qt VLAN, which is like a pass-through layer for Qt applications to run on VLAN. So we will need, well, we have two options. to run it on X11 or install an X11 session or force resolve to use X11 on VLAN. This is the one I'm going to do. Sometimes you can make Qt fall back to X11 instead of VLAN. I will stay on Wayland, Hyperland, and install this, get this working. There we go. So we're going to enforce it to run on X Wayland instead. First, let's see if we have that or not. Copy, enter. Yep, we do have X Wayland, don't worry. Now I'm going to force Qt to use this. So why don't we try that again? Like, yeah, let's try it again. Come on. Okay, let me just see if... Yep, it is available to execute as a program. So I have to run these back to back in order to get that working. Enter, enter, and this one as well. Enter. And now optional, make it a one-time script to launch. I'm trying to run the installer. Run the installer on Hyperland using this. So yep, now it should work. Let's try. Come on. Okay, we do have to install these. Copy. Paste, install, there we go. Now let me just run all these commands instead. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. At last it started. Next, 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 install. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to have to enter the password. So let me just enter the password. And it's again. And now the installation is completed. And now let me just reload the hyperland, you know, dot files or something. And now let's see. Okay, what happened? Okay, so here we are. After rebooting, I forgot to reboot and just directly started my NVIDIA stuff and that's what happened. So now let's open the... Come on. Okay, so now let's start. What the hell is coming? Okay, okay, so here we are back again for the third time and now let's see. 
the wing chill is all studio there we go let's see i'm expecting an error which is pretty easy to fix but let's see if it will work or not so let's just wait a little come on then it should be starting by now my fans have kicked in let's try again the wing chi dissolve studio well since it's not working as we can see i believe it's the same problem we were having so let's go to chat gpt again and now it plain things again i know oh, okay then so let's see yep they are working don't worry yeah result does not work well on nvidia natively but still let's see they're going to launch result now using the command and these are the errors you stop this yeah i do have to install these because i have not yet installed them so let's try yes and now these enter and now these enter now this is going to take some time it's actually seriously installing these stuff and this time we're going to launch it using wayland nvidia let's see and still so now i'm just going to copy this okay we can force x11 to launch it now let's try this one as well for once and wasn't helpful so now i'm just gonna paste all of this here so let's see what's actually going on it's not able to initiate the gpu at all that is weird because my gpu is working pretty fine it's proprietary driver let's see here all right then i'll try and solve these things what's the see if i have all the important libraries yep i do let's see okay let's try launching it as root in the same set of command lines again so i'm gonna copy this stuff yep working with a setup like this is no chance play at all huh. let's try this nothing the root cause is that fits karna hai usually works on high plan before launching the high plan is this let's try it let's do it again enter and now let's try to start it again there we go that's the problem yep that is the problem so i'm gonna tell it that this worked now since it worked let's just test it out properly if gpu works or not because i'm expecting a problem like actually expecting a problem already so let's try to import an mkv file like this maybe don't change there we go the audio should be here right let me just mute the track to see if it works properly yep nvidia driver is working properly let's see nvidia smi yep it is using the gpu drivers with proper voltage control yes yep it worked at last properly at last so next step i'm gonna have to properly improve the launch file well let's make the og launch file problem you will let do it so first let's open the og launch file well this is not the og launch file at all it's empty i don't want to open another one okay so it's just resolve dot there's no tubbing chi now it should open properly come on so it's in user share applications and there its name is com dot black magic tubbing chi resolve okay why don't i just copy the whole thing instead and paste it here let's see if it will work or not there we go at last now this is the pochi now we're going to fix this one with the environment variables which will export all the other stuff and the executive stuff so let's try if it will work or not first i'm gonna test if it works or not enter so where is it we have a few crashes come on so it's not launching at all no it isn't okay so this one actually works so i'm just gonna use this one instead let's check if it works properly or not yep it does so i'm just gonna go to executive and remove the previous one properly paste the new one okay paste the new one save it enter and now just refresh desktop base like this and now when we search for the venture record it should open that be like this that's more like it yep and i believe that's it most of the work is now done and it's not working properly so yep i hope you've enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what do you think about it if you've enjoyed the video well look at the video showing how much effort it takes to get the venture on studio working and fit in the nvidia gpu drivers on the laptop which has that stuff so yep i hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll meet you next video till then i'm on signing out